Meeting the queen is a nerve-wracking moment for most people. Not only do you have to master the obligatory curtsy for women or bow for men, you must use the correct formal address of your majesty. According to the royal family website, any subsequent addresses to the queen should be made as ma'am, pronounced with a short A as in jam. But younger members of the royals do not have to be so formal in private. Future heir to the throne Prince George, IV, has an adorable name for his great-grandmother, but what is it? Prince George, IV, calls the Queen Gangand, according to his mother, the Duchess of Cambridge. Kate shared the revelation in a 2016 BBC film called Our Queen at 90, in honor of the Queen's 90th birthday. She said, George is only two and a half, and he calls her Gangand. She always leaves a little gift or something in their room when we go and stay and that just shows her love for her family. But George is not the only young royal to adopt this sweet name for the queen. Gangan is the go term term used by royals to refer to their great-grandmothers, according to royal biographer Kitty Kelly. Prince William and Prince Harry called Queen's Elizabeth's mother, the Queen Mother, Gangan throughout her life. During Our Queen at 90, the brothers even referred to the nickname while watching a video of their father, Prince Charles, as a little boy. The pair were watching their father take confident strides across the lawn as the Queen looks after Princess Anne in her pram. Prince Harry says laughing, he walks like George. Or, George walks like him, while William jokes, it's a purposeful walk. Prince Harry adds, back in the early days, when Gangan was around. Why did Prince William call the Queen Gary? The Duke of Cambridge once called his grandmother Gary, but there was a particular reason why. The young Prince William had fallen over at the time and was trying to attract the attention of his granny, but could not pronounce her name. He ended up crying Gary, Gary, according to Mirror columnist Richard Kay.